Welcome. In a previous video, I unboxed an Oroco drive dock and I installed a Western Digital 8TB red drive in there and I have had those hooked up to my Synology NAS. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to those and if you buy using that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So to get started, you want to be in the DSM or the Disk Station Manager. I'm logged into that. I have the hard drive plugged into the Synology NAS using USB 3.0 and I want to click on the control panel. And then you see up here you have basic mode and advanced mode. You want to click that and make sure you're on the advanced mode. And then click down here on external devices. And you'll see I have two drives here because I have two USB drives plugged in. So if I click this arrow here, it will expand that out. And I can do that on both of these. So you can see that one is a, it says 1.8, or it's actually a two terabyte drive. And then the bottom one is an eight terabyte drive. So I want to deal with this bottom one here. So I'll click on this and then I'll hit format and it says formatting option, entire disk or selected partition. And I want to do the whole disk. And then we can do ext4 or FAT32. So I want to do ext4. So I'll hit okay. And it says we'll delete all the data and I'll click yes. And now it's formatting the drive. Okay, so the device is formatted now. So if you look down here, it says it's USB share two. So if I close this, I can go into my file station here. And uh, if you're new to DSM, I have these icons on my desktop. You can click up here in the upper left and uh, select them here if you don't have them on your desktop. And if you want to add something to your desktop, you just right click on it and say add to desktop. I guess I should have mentioned that. Um, we open up file station. If we look over here, we'll see USB share. Let me get this expanded properly. Okay, I'll scroll down, you'll see USB share two, and this is the drive. So let's see if I can find something to copy to it. So I'll just copy this file. So I'll right click on it and I'll say copy. And then I'll go down to USB share two. I'll right click and I'll say paste. And you'll see it has progress. Oh, it just was on for a second, but it has progress up here on the top while it's copying. And it has copied this 151 megabyte file to the external drive. So you can copy files to this. You can use it for backup, a couple different things. Um, th I'm gonna stop this video here. I'll be making some more videos on how to set this up with like hyper backup and things like that. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.